Hey everybody, welcome back to another Plugin Tut, and today we have a listener question that came in. And it says, hi Matt, I've been following your website, Matt Report, and I've seen you launch this website. I made a plugin called Metabox for creating custom fields for posts, terms, and settings pages. It's very lightweight, powerful in comparison to AS, ACF and CMB2, easy for developers to work with and extend the functionality. I think it might be useful for your audience on this blog, would you mind taking a look and writing about it. I'm not even going to pr try to pronounce uh, your name, sir, but thank you for uh, sending in uh, this request. I won't write about it, but I will do a preview video. And of course, on Plugin Tut, uh, what we do is we do WordPress tutorials, either deep dives uh, or interviews or previews uh, like we're going to take a look at today. If you want to find out more, it's PluginTut.com. And do subscribe to the YouTube uh, channel. Hit like if you do like this type of content. So playing around with the plugin a little bit and i must say that it is definitely for the developers and i do not play one on tv so uh let's just take a look real quick at their site it is available on wordpress.org you can just search for metabox and find that installed by uh or active on 100,000 uh wordpress installations it does get five stars so kudos to that the site looks great super clean uh well documented and you'll need it especially if you're not a developer and maybe you're sort of pinging, uh, ping-ponging around the idea of going with this or another uh, custom field solution. So they have a bunch of uh, extensions um, like REST API, geolocation, admin columns, and some premium extensions that, of course, you have to pay for. So, of course, let's see if I just click on, let's say, this tabs one. It's $19, so not a whole heck of a lot of money. Uh, and last updated uh, quite recently, June 1st, 2016. So all of that is to say... Uh, what this plugin does is add fields uh, like a custom, like an ACF, Advanced Custom Fields, uh, to your website. The biggest difference here, or to your WordPress website, so the biggest difference here, that at least that I've seen so far, uh, this is this is truly almost an unboxing of sorts. Uh, uninstalling, installing, first time installing. I don't know what the proper word is <laughs> just yet, um, but we'll we'll figure that out. Figure that out as we roll. Advanced custom fields. This is a quick example of advanced custom fields. When I come into this and I want to create a bunch of uh, custom fields to attach to a post or a page or a custom post type, they get this nice uh, user interface. And I think that's where uh, ACF really shines. And that's why, I get so, it's why it's so popular. A lot of folks recommend it. Um, there are some developers that are you know, standing outside their door with flames and pitchforks because of the way they store data. That's not for this show. Um, probably not even for me to discuss. But anyway, the I, the point here is ACF, nice GUI. You can build your fields. You can, you know, click these things and hit apply and move them around, drag and drop, all of this stuff. It's great. Uh, Metabox.io, slightly different. So the first thing I did is I installed the plugin and I was looking for the settings page just like ACF. Couldn't find one, jumped right over to the documentation. And again, I am not a developer. I don't play one on TV. But... Uh, luckily, their documents are uh, they're, they're well defined here. So if I go to register a Metabox, it says uh, to register Metabox is copy and paste the following code into your P functions PHP file. So fair warning, again, if you're not comfortable doing this kind of thing, this is probably not the plugin for you. Although if you are somebody who is hiring a professional to build a website, you could certainly have them take a look at it, especially if you're building custom post types, custom fields, building some kind of catalog or inventory system. Uh, your developer might want to look at this, or if you're a developer yourself, this might be new to you, or maybe not. So I copy that, I go into my WordPress editor, and again, some of you developer purists out there are screaming because I'm using the WordPress admin, but guess what? This is for TV. I don't have that much time to be flip-flopping through my apps. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that into my functions PHP file, and I can already see things like uh, your prefix probably has to be changed to something uh, more cordial for your development purposes. So you can go ahead and do that. But for the purposes of this demo, I'm just going to go ahead and hit update file. That's going to save this in my functions PHP. And allegedly, it will go ahead and add these custom fields that I've defined to my post. So let's go take a look at that. All posts. Uh, hello world. And we can see here, let's get Restrict Content Pro out of the way. And by the way, Restrict Content Pro is our monthly sponsor. If you're looking for uh, membership, uh, plugin to secure your content in your WordPress site. Check out Restrict Content Pro at restrictcontentpro.com. Okay, so custom fields. 
you can see this is the name that I added. I added this full name text box here. Um, and that's all done through, if we're looking at the code, you can see we're registering uh, this field name called uh, full name. It's based on text. Uh, you know, there's this little description below it that says format first and last. And if we swap back over, you can see that format first and last. Um, and now somebody, you know, the purpose of this is to sort of just type in your name uh, and add another field and maybe add in somebody else's name uh, to this post type. So uh, we go back here and we can see that below that there is another field, custom field here, um, that is a, a title called media, it's text domain, but by the way, this one says it's only gonna load on the post type movie. So this is a custom post type versus the first one that we added, which is posts and pages. And you'll see where I'm going with all of this in a moment. So we're gonna go over to the movie custom post type that I made. I'm just gonna hit on add new. <clears throat> and of course, we'll see this custom field right here. Uh, it's the media field, it's the little helper text is URL, and you can pretty much type in anything because it is a text field. So, great. I mean, I've added these custom po I've added these custom fields, no problem. Uh, the difference is, again, if you're not a technical type, you're going to have to go in and define all of this um, through either copy and pasting from the documents uh, or... Um, you know, writing your own code, I guess, if you get really good at <laughs> remembering um, all the descriptions and all of the, uh, all the names for everything. So if we go back to the documentation, you can go to the define fields. And I guess the bigger sort of advantage uh, to this plugin versus like an advanced custom fields is it's going to have all of these field types available without having to go and buy an add-on or, you know, subscribe to a premium license. And I guess that's the, uh, the major uh, benefit for using Metabox, and of course, uh, probably the underlining code and, and the support that the author gives. Uh, once again, we're not gonna dive too deep into setting up a website with this plugin, just a quick preview uh, of that. So again, we're gonna go back to Appearances, Editor, and look at the Functions file. And here's where we would go ahead and define all these fields. So one more time, you have to copy and paste this stuff into your Functions PHP. It'll go ahead and activate those custom fields on a post or page or custom post type. And you save that and you make that for any uh, field that you want. Again, you'll be pulling this stuff right out of their docs. What's the alternative? Well, the most popular one or one of the more popular ones, again, is advanced custom fields. If I wanted to add that text field, I would go to add new. Uh, I'll just call this my custom group and then add field. And I would just call this whatever and give it a name, whatever, and you can see it's a text field. I'm just gonna hit close field for now. And you can see here that this field label, whatever, is my text field. So that's the same thing that we did by copying, pasting code with Metabox.io into the functions PHP file. Huge mouthful. Again, this is meant much more for the developer, somebody who's looking to become a developer or really looking for a super lightweight solution for custom fields and custom inputs on post types in WordPress. Uh, check them out. I don't see anything um, glaring at me. That's a, a major problem other than you have to understand some WordPress coding skills, sharpen those up. Got a bunch of extensions and uh, installed on 100,000 sites across uh, the WordPress ecosystem. Five-star review on WordPress.org. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff. I liked it. Uh, if I'm a developer, I might uh, spend some time examining what they have there and looking at what they have in docs and support and all that fun stuff. As always, if you're interested in more WordPress tutorials, previews, demonstrations, and interviews, check out PluginTut.com. Go ahead and subscribe to YouTube. We're looking for 100 subscri uh, subscribers this month. That'll really help us secure the handle for Plugin Tut. Thanks, everybody.